Which cafe? Um, Green Earth actually also worked out in Staten Island during the spring round, right? They have some amazing poets that'll be doing a few short poems for you guys, all right? So let's welcome them to the stage. Thank you. How you guys doing? All right, my name is Nadia 53. Um, I was, I myself and Ray Mango, we were the um, Staten Island teaching artist. So um, I'm gonna bring um, two of my poets up and myself, and we're gonna demonstrate some of the poetry that we do. Thank you. Peace, family. Make some noise. My grandma came to this country with a pyramid in her pocket. Sunflower seeds to plant a bloodline. Native tongue curled sharp around the atmosphere, head wrapping juju as long as the Mississippi is deep. Passed from a maroon heritage, she, with eyes boiling determination, she the wind, the howl forever, the curse and gift held like siblings in a left breast to be, the matriarch of this black magic, the gleam of points and streams, shouts and dancing, compass of sadness of the city, my past, and her stomach, so serenely suspended, silver shimmering spears, seven soft sycamores, seat sap, sealing her energy at the corner of doors, deliberate diamond dawning over the blue blood orange horizon, Jamaica made a woman beyond woman. So she birthed my mother and nine other children before making this pilgrimage, divorced two would-be lovers and put one in the ground. He thought his hands were as fast as God's mind. She proved them wrong, however. <laughs> Healing in our bones, bountiful and beaming, sat me on a table and spoke to me this speech, fashioned on mangoes and June plums, star apples and coconut water. She slept on a bed of machetes. I love her sacrifice. Love being stuck to her feet, listening to her stories. A little girl, she moved mountains with this language, made dragons cry. The little mother, Obia woman, my grandma, rain dancing to the stars. She told me if you love sweet and often in her Pepsi, she told me to love sweet and often, taking everything. So that one day when this burden of this pyramid I carry in my pocket is placed on your shoulders, you will know how to go to the kitchen and walk this over you. know how to dance for stars. I love her. Behind these mics, I swear, I have a pyramid in my pocket and I am here the way my grandma is casting these spells. And if you ask me what makes me so special, I will tell you without ever boxing a bumbo cloud eye that my granny came to this country with a pyramid in her pocket and heaven on her breath. Turning assets into liabilities. You really need three TVs in that SUV? 
<laughs> Four cell phones and take out every night of the week. Black Wall Street. Black economics at its peak. A peak of what we could achieve if we pooled our resources and redefined the nature of our needs. <laughs> In the United States, blacks are the number one consumers. Yes, sir. Coupled with the fact that we manufacture nothing we consume. Yeah. It pretty much makes us the biggest losers. Mm. Yeah.